É uma experiência muito gratificante, na verdade, é um prazer enorme estar aqui com o pai, o criador da psicologia pré perinatal William Emerson. Eu vou fazer algumas perguntas para ele, ele se dispôs a responder algumas perguntas. Eu estive aqui em Dallas, no workshop com ele, de cinco dias, e foi uma experiência maravilhosa, realmente é difícil encontrar palavras para explicar como foi essa experiência, né? estar com o pai, com o criador de tudo isso, e ele vai responder aqui algumas perguntas que eu vou fazer para ele. Hi William, uh, as a father of uh, pre perinatal field, what is the, the most exciting uh, discovery that you found? Actually, the most important thing I found is, uh, first of all, that um, a, human adults can easily access memories from those periods of time. Uh, so a number of very simple techniques that can be learned. So there's no doubt that adults can regress back all the way to conception and have memories. And the reasons are the, that the central nervous system is not yet developed. So the cells of the body actually, in fact, the cells are a perfect memory structure in terms of how they're built, the architecture of cells. So that's how adults can remember. But if adults can remember, hello, so can babies. So the most important discovery is that if you have birth trauma, it can take two years in your adult life of working on your birth trauma every week or every other week to actually resolve that birth trauma. It sounds dismal, you know, and it sounds expensive. Uh, sometimes 18 months is also good, really good, uh, and uh, it's also true that when birth trauma isn't just birth trauma, when, when, when a baby is being born, all the prior traumas from the prenatal period also are brought along with it, so they all get reactivated at the same time. Anyway, we found that it took on an, an average of 12 one hour sessions to treat birth trauma in babies versus 18 months in adults. Huge, it's a huge discovery because if we can treat birth trauma right after birth, it prevents decades and decades of decades of symptoms until you get to be an adult and finally go, oh my God, I have birth trauma. Uh, birth, birth trauma is kind of recapitulation of uh, traumas that occur before, right? It's a, it's a re repetition or a recapitulation of what happened before, but it is also in its own right a trauma. A baby can have no prenatal trauma and have birth trauma. So it's, they're separate things, but they, they are interrelated. Dr. Emerson, can you talk about how prenatal trauma shows up in birth? Yes, I'd be happy to. There's a, there's a time in the prenatal period when the mother discovers the pregnancy and then the mother tells the father and the parents tell the kids and the relatives. In this particular, in this particular case, of which there are thousands and thousands of cases exactly like it, the mother was not ready to be pregnant. She was 16 years old and very terrified, <clears throat> didn't have enough money, wanted to go to school and so forth. The father was opposed to the pregnancy. Um, the grandparents and, uh, on both sides were opposed to the pregnancy. So everything was in opposition to this pregnancy. So when this little girl, at the time of discovery, she really could perceive, because unborn babies are psychic, they, they just come from spirit, they're, self, they're full of the Holy Spirit, they're full of awareness, they're full of knowing. She took in all of this rejection. So when she showed, when birth it was time for her to be born, she did not want to come into such a world. She wanted to live, 
but she just didn't want to come into the world. So the first thing she did was to turn breach because she didn't, you know, that's her way of protest and being born. That's a birth complication. So they started procedures to deliver her by breach and they were going to do cesarean, but then she turned sideways. It's called transverse. That's an even more complicated cesarean birth because it causes, you have to sometimes use forceps. So it creates more complications for the medical, medical team. So they decided to wait. And then the anxiety of the parents and the doctors about this child being born somehow infused themselves into the baby and she actually went into fetal distress, another birth complication. So, so the, the environment, a stressful birth environment can create stress in an unborn baby, baby being born. So that's one example of how a prenatal trauma can show up in birth. I'm going to have the short example. Uh, a boy was, there were three attempted abortions on his life.